hey what's going on guys so my name is Ipe in this video I want to talk about Matthew Near's uh, digital bankroll course so I just went through one hour of his webinar here so what is attention grabbing about Matthew's program here is that he promises you don't have to do paid traffic you don't even have to do social media and he's not even really teaching how to generate traffic for free by ranking websites so I was curious to see what was his strategy of traffic generation. Obviously, he teaches affiliate marketing. One of his pitch is that you don't need to create your own product. You can just promote other people's products on ClickBank. But ClickBank is notoriously difficult to generate enough traffic for ClickBank products because it's so easy for anybody to sign up for these offers. And it's like, how are you going to get traffic for an affiliate program? And so I, I watched Matthew's entire video and it seems that he is purchasing buyers lists. Here it says you don't need products because you're promoting ClickBank offers. You don't need to invest a huge amount of time to do this. Sounds too good to be true because to generate traffic for affiliate marketing, that's very time consuming. The main ways in which people do it is you grow a YouTube channel or you create a blog. Both techniques take a lot of time to do, but he also says here, you don't need social media. You don't need to post on TikTok, Snapchat, or YouTube to have success. So what is he really doing? So according to him, all he does is he creates text ads, which are emails you send out to a buyer's list and you send them to a squeeze page and then you promote like a ClickBank offer. Now, I've known people in affiliate marketing space that have bought other people's buyers list. The buyers list that you purchase online, they're known to have a lot of fraudulent emails, a lot of emails that are not high quality. And the problem with that is if you use anything like MailChimp or any of these email uh, marketing softwares, if you have high, no open rate, or a lot of people on that email list, once you send the email, they report you as spam because there's no relationships built. Then your ISP can get blocked and most of your emails will end up going to spam. So this is why it's not that easy to buy other people's list and try to do email marketing to that list when you're the one that did not collect the emails because most of your emails will go to spam. I really don't think this is a sustainable way to create long-term passive income with affiliate marketing. This strategy is the approach of spamming as much as possible to as many emails as possible. And it might help to get you some sales, but I certainly don't see it as a turnkey method of you can set it and forget and it'll continue to generate income for you. Ultimately, if it was that this easy, everybody would be doing it. Affiliate marketing is tough because it is tough to collect these emails and, and generate your own traffic. And the problem with taking them straight to an offer that you don't own, an info product on ClickBank, is that there's no connection with you, the one that sent the email, versus the actual product. So there's a disconnect there, so the conversion rate is going to be notoriously very low. Which is why if you study what Matthew Neer has done, he does not just randomly buy buyer's list and send his emails. He actually runs paid traffic with his face on the ad with a landing page and he is sell selling his own info product. You have to, guys, you have to model after what is working and you have to model after what these coaches are actually doing to generate the income. And Although affiliate marketing promises to be easy because you don't have to create the product, so you actually need less skills because you know you don't have to be on camera to create a digital product. You don't need to be on camera to create the ad. You just send traffic to a link. But because it removes a lot of those steps and a lot of the barriers to entry, more and more people can do it, hence why affiliate marketing is so saturated. And so when it gets saturated, it, like any business, there is more supply than demand. This is why affiliate marketing is very difficult and challenging to generate traffic. Let's take a look at his other sales page on digitalbankroll.com where it actually outlines the fact that you are going to be running paid ads and you're going to be creating 
your own digital product, which is essentially what Matt has done, right? So I believe that the webinar was to just get more people in the door and promise a business model that's a lot easier to do. But Matt and most of us in the know in the digital marketing and internet marketing space know that affiliate marketing is not a great long-term business model. And so this is why his actual course is going to be teaching you how to create a digital product and do paid ads. Although I will say it is pretty competitive. I don't recommend creating digital product for a beginner, especially if you're just wanting to get to 10, 20 K a month of passive income. So you can walk away from your nine to five and not everybody's cut out to be a info product owner. Not everybody is passionate about coaching other people. Not everybody has an expertise to coach other people. So if you're interested in making passive income, there's a way easier way. It's called local lead generation. And I have a link in the description where you can find a lot more info about it. But basically it's a lot easier because we're teaching students how to rank your own website at the top of the Google search engine in the local space. So it's much easier for a local plumber, local roofer, and you're only competing with 10 to 20 local companies. Instead of affiliate marketing, you're comp competing with thousands of affiliate marketers all across the world. Yeah. Traffic generation is the most important step when it comes to making passive income on the internet and Google by far is still the easiest way to generate free traffic. Unlike YouTube where YouTube is such a grind now, like you have to make videos nonstop for at least a year and you have to have a whole team of editors because videos on YouTube are becoming very high quality. Now, I'm starting to make some YouTube videos, but this is not my main focus. My bread and butter is ranking websites and articles in Google. That includes my local lead generation site and my blog, epay.com. But again, I'll share with you more info on that. I believe your ability to generate traffic is the only thing that's stopping you from making passive income on the internet. It's not all these other things out there. As long as you can generate traffic, you can make money and local is where you should start. If you are a beginner, click on the link on the description and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.